practice the Stop Animal Cruelty series on Supreme Master Television. We have been viewing excerpts from the Save the Primates documentary by Animal Defenders International, an animal rights advocacy organization. The film shows the appalling treatment of primates used in so-called scientific research and the unimaginable conditions in which they are kept. We now continue with more segments from Save the Primates. In other tests, the monkeys are strapped down in chairs. For some, the stress is so great they suffer rectal prolapse, a known indicator of gross stress in restrained primates. Sometimes several monkeys would prolapse, and some individuals would prolapse repeatedly. During an inhalation study licensed as mild, three monkeys died or had to be killed due to partially collapsed and blocked lungs. Three others collapsed but were revived, a necropsy showed the animals had blackened lungs. In the wild, these monkeys innovate and learn from each other, passing on skills and knowledge such as cleaning food. What do monkeys who peer from their cages think, as their companions are strapped down for experimentation? And what of the animals tested upon month after month? Some monkeys had an incontinence drug pumped into their stomach every day for a year. Others were bled multiple times in a day, or day after day, enduring over 80 bleeds. On the days when animals were killed and necropsied, the other monkeys would fall silent. The results of these tests are known to be affected by the stress and fear experienced by the monkeys. During tests for an asthma drug, monkeys suffered with liquid feces, redness of face, lips, feet and hands, swollen penises, low heart rate, hernias, body tremors, and a quiet, hunched appearance. It doesn't have to be this way. Scientific and technological advances are forging ahead, creating fast, accurate, non-animal techniques, which provide data directly applicable to humans. They avoid the differences between species which make outdated animal experimentation methods unreliable. For example, gout is caused by excess uric acid, which is produced in monkeys, apes and humans, but only humans get gout. Monkeys can carry herpes B virus without suffering the disease. In humans, the disease is rare, but almost always fatal. Studies have shown that effects of compounds in humans differ from those in laboratory monkeys on average a third of the time. Such differences were illustrated when the UK trial for test drug TGN1412 was almost fatal to human volunteers. Yet laboratory monkeys had been given doses of the drug 500 times that given to the human volunteers without such side effects. Now many agree that this disaster could have been avoided by using advanced technology microdosing. Microdosing involves giving tiny, safe doses of new compounds to human volunteers and samples of blood or urine are then analyzed by accelerator mass spectrometry or AMS. Able to count individual atoms and so sensitive it can detect a compound even if just one liter of it were diluted in the world's oceans, AMS can show how compounds have been absorbed, distributed, metabolized and excreted by the human body. The European Union Microdose AMS Partnership Program recently demonstrated microdosing as 80% predictive of drug absorption and distribution in the human body, making it significantly more accurate than primate, dog and rodent models. Adoption of advanced techniques such as this would allow drug development to be accelerated, accuracy improved and costs cut. And this is not the only modern technique ready to replace the use of primates. Others include cell and tissue culture models, the latest microscopic techniques, sophisticated computer and mathematical modeling, three-dimensional tissue engineering, and high-tech scanning. After commercial testing, the next largest area of primate use is academic neurology experiments in universities. These studies can involve restraint, brain damage, and electrodes permanently implanted into the animal's heads. Often this so-called fundamental research does not attempt to justify itself by describing a clear application for human benefit. 
Yet advances in modern scanning techniques are enabling non-invasive neuroimaging of the human brain, providing unprecedented understanding of mental ill health, neurodegenerative diseases, vision, hearing, speech, pain and more, by providing data of direct relevance to patients. There are no regulatory requirements for academic experiments, so this is a field where replacement with modern scanning techniques could be rapid. Industry and regulators, and indeed much of academia, are inherently resistant to changes in the established system. But the reality is that animal testing is a poor predictor of human responses. Commercial testing is a huge area of primate experimentation, but a comparatively small part of the overall testing for new drugs. So replacement should be faster than with the EU cosmetics testing ban, where a start-to-finish test replacement strategy was employed. Primates come at the end of the testing program as the second mammal required by regulation. By the time the monkeys were being strapped into restraint chairs, hundreds, even thousands of smaller animals would already have been experimented upon to test the same product. If regulators are serious about replacing animal testing with advanced technology, it's vital that the animal tests be ended earlier and that testing move to human-based methods as quickly as possible. We are primates too. And we do know better. We would like to extend our gratitude to Animal Defenders International for producing this documentary which demonstrates the reality of the utterly inhuman practice of animal testing. It is clear that this barbaric and unscientific research must be stopped immediately. What can we do to help? First, only buy products that have the not tested on animals label on the container. Also. Please write to your government representatives and ask them to urgently pass legislation against this outrageous activity. Please be sure to also adopt a vegan diet. In that way, you are protecting all life on this planet, conserving biodiversity and stopping the greatest threat to all beings, global warming. Thank you for your supportive company today on Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Together, we can protect the animals and speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Coming up next is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news. May all of God's creations be loved, honoured and protected. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash stop dash animal dash cruelty.